Um, yeah, but that's the, all kind of old, old levels. Um, yeah, that's right. But the, the, the point is that our GCSE exams are, are um, very, very important. Uh -huh. okay. uh, and they're at 15 and 16 years of age. Mm -hmm. And so that, that kind of brings the pressure down on students at a much earlier age. Mm -hmm. And so when our students are 13, 14, they choose their subjects and they're really driven. Mm -hmm. And they're driven quite hard in order to achieve that we teach to the test and we make sure that they're good at learning for the test and they know exactly what to do in that exam. And you don't have that. You no, have that at 18. No. Yeah, well, associations such as the Association for English Teachers of Finland produces a test which is, which is sort of like a mock test that you could take at 16. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not compulsory and many teachers use it only, it only has an impact on your grade if your grade point average is was lower and you okay. did really well on that test. Right. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about um, the pressure that, that students are... I think for them, uh, with GCSEs, it does... Obviously, you still choose a wide range of subjects, which is good, but then it does restrict you in terms of you have to learn for the test. You, you're learning a sort of... You're not learning... You're not, yeah, exactly. You're, you're trying to fit everything in, and it's quite a, a big set of us fit in the two years. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially with big classes, mm -hmm. so really I think you should have exams a bit later. So I, I, I like the system with the 18 because then yeah, you have then a broader you, knowledge. Exactly, and it's really a bad time, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're really, the most the and there worst are other, possible other, time. other stresses coming in. Yeah. Whereas by 18, you sort of sort yourself yeah. out a bit yeah, more. Yeah, you already know a bit more yeah. about life and yeah, what might exactly. interest you. Yeah. Well, so, we, so, excuse me, um, Tom. Uh, are you going to do A levels or are you going to do the IB? Do you know yet? I'm doing A levels. I'm doing geography, history, biology, and English literature. Oh, uh, good. I like you already. <laughs> <laughs> I teach English literature. So, IB. so the interesting thing is that so our, most of our students at Tom's age now will have chosen what they're going to do and in many cases most cases probably that won't include maths in many cases that won't include uh, a science mm -hmm. so they can do three four to start but three that they're examined on uh, ultimately their main a levels to get into university so it's uh, the specialization to, to my mind comes too early yeah, so we're, yeah, we're turning yeah, out yeah, students you, you who, who stop doing maths age. at yeah. the age of 15 16 yeah. who stop doing yeah. science at the age of 15 16 yeah. and that has traditionally been the way we've gone some students are doing the ib and that, that gives a broader education to 18. But I think that's another one of our flaws. We're asking children from the age of maybe 12, 13 next year to start choosing their options. And they're not, to my mind, they're not uh, aware enough as to where this is leading them, which doors are closing all the time because they've got such a narrow education. And, and that's sadly where our system probably needs to, mm -hmm. to change. Well, and we, we see that the, the pressure that we're putting on, you know, certainly our top students, is immense. It's mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. um, and, and my personal concern is that we're going to push these guys so hard that by the time they get to 18, they, they need a break and they're fed up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not teaching a love of learning here. We're, we're teaching to a test. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to address that. We've introduced a new curriculum called the International Middle Years Curriculum. Uh, and that is about learning skills and enjoyment of subjects uh, and internationalism. Not, not learning a language, but understanding and appreciating different cultures. So we're trying to have a much broader curriculum, but that, um, that is a bit of a gamble. <coughs> We've got to make sure that our students still get to the level when they're 14, that they're ready for these tests. Mm -hmm because the tests are still the be-all and end-all. Yeah. If our results are down this year, we will have Ofsted inspectors in school in September. And they have the power to remove the head teacher, uh, put somebody else in place. Absolutely. Um, absolutely, yeah. You know what?
happy teacher is a much better Absolutely. teacher. Yeah. <laughs> All this pressure, take it off yeah. the teachers. That's, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's good, them. I like They are yeah, professionals. Yeah. Yeah. They have been trained, they know what they are doing. Trust them. No, no, the, <laughs> the education secretary knows what he's doing. The, the, the teachers are confused. Oh, really? <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's where your trouble are. That's the root of your problems. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>